Hello viewers, hope you're doing well. Today in this video, I'm going to create an admin account in the DB using Spring Boot application. So let's get started. In the services package, I'm going to create here the new sub package with the name auth. In the auth package, I'm going to create here the new interface with the name auth service. After the interface, I'm going to create here the new class with the name auth service implementation. Let me implement the auth service simple with the auth service. On the top, I'm going to add here the annotation that is the add the rate service to make this class as a service in the Spring Boot application. And the second annotation I'm going to add here that is the add the rate required ARGS constructor. After that, I'm going to inject here the user repository. After injecting the user repository, I'm going to create here the method that is a create an admin account and the return type of this method that is a void. Before creating the new account, we need to check from the DB if the admin already exists, then we don't need to create a new admin account. If the admin is not exist, then we will create an admin account. So here I'm going to call the method from our repository, find by user role. Inside the argument, I'm going to pass here the user role that is a user role dot admin. And it will be a optional. Let me create this method in the user repository. After getting the optional user from the DB, I'm going to add here the if condition where we need to check if the optional user is present, then we need to create an admin account. Otherwise, we will show here the message that is a admin already exists. If the admin is not exist in the DB, then I'm going to create here the object of the new user. So first I'm going to set here the email that is a admin at the rate test.com. Second, I'm going to set here name. Third, I'm going to set here password and it will be a type of a hash. So let me call here new bcrypt password encoder. Dot encode. Inside the quotes, I'm going to pass here the password in the type of a string. And the bcrypt password encoder will change the password from string to the hash form. After that, I'm going to set here the role that is a user role dot admin. After adding the details of the admin to the user object, I'm going to call here the user repository and the method that is a save to save the object to the DB. So here we need to pass the object that is a user. And after that, I'm going to print the message in the terminal that is a admin account created successfully. So let me copy this line. Let me paste here. Let me update the message that is a admin account created successfully. You can see the implementation of the create an admin account. On the top, I'm going to add here the annotation to invoke this method when the application start running and the annotation that is a post construct. Let's run the Spring Boot application. You can see the schema that we are using in our Spring Boot project. You can see here application started and it's created a new user table in the DB. And you can see here the message that is a admin account created successfully. Let's go to the DB. Let me refresh the schema. Let me open this table. And you can see here the admin account with the email, name, and the password that is a form of a hash. And you can see here the role that is a admin. Let me stop the application and rerun. You can see here the message in the terminal that is a admin account already exists. Let's go to the MySQL database and let me refresh the users table. And you can see here we have only one admin account. So that's all for now from my site. In the next video, we will create a sign up API in Spring Boot. If you have any confusion, you can do comment and also subscribe to my channel for more videos and hit the bell icon. Thanks for watching. Take care. Bye.